We traveled 1,500 miles for two minutes and seven seconds. My friends were determined to witness something none of us had ever seen before and might never see again, a total solar eclipse. I tagged along because I wanted to watch the world go dark. And so off we went into the path. For me, I, I'm curious about how dark it gets. It would be cool to, to see it get dark in you know, the daytime. Is the 360 degree sunset. That itself, it sounds amazing. The thing that uh, intrigues me the most is I want to see how people react. Is it like spiritual? <laughs> you know, I guess in some I, cases, I want it to be. I, I want it to be super amazing and spiritual. Yeah. What do you think would be like the most freaky thing to happen during a full solar eclipse? Okay. An alien invasion? Animals kind of going crazy, you know. But I know they kind of get confused and stuff like that. But animals like, like literally like going crazy, like the rabbit yeah, animals running right around. It. The moon would move across the sun and cover it and stay there. Yeah, that'd be freaky. Yeah, yeah that would be stops. freaky. Yeah. Stay dark. I'll stay, yeah. I almost didn't go. There were a million reasons not to. That was the number of visitors Oregon was expecting would crowd its towns and gridlock its highways. We decided to drive up in spite of the warnings, traveling in the dark of night to a small clearing at the top of a hill in the Umatilla National Forest, almost dead center in the path of totality. Was it a good decision? It started to seem like one early in the morning on the day before the eclipse. While out scouting the terrain for a good place to set up our cameras, I began to realize that traveling to see the eclipse, as exhilarating as it promised to be, was really something much simpler. It was an excuse to get back out in the big wide open again. Camping in the cold, walking in the woods, staring up at the stars. I'd forgotten how much fun you can have in the middle of nowhere. Later that day, though, I was convinced the decision was a good one when I met Marnie and Rich at a nearby campground. They were here to see their fourth total eclipse. The eclipse is an experience, mm -hmm. you know, from, from beginning to end. Every, every part of it is so unique. 99% is not 100%, yeah. you know, is not seeing a total. Is this your first? This is my first total. Oh. I've seen many partials, right. and um, yeah. I, to be honest, I was yeah. weighing whether it would be worth coming up here for the trip. It is. And so when you saw it the first time, and you even begin to describe it, or is it just... Yeah. <laughs> it's not something you can explain. She gets super emotional. It takes you by surprise, because <laughs> yeah. it's... Um, Yeah. Eclipse brain takes over, yeah. and you're just, what, where am I? What am I seeing? Oh my God, what is, because <laughs> the world turns into an alien world, and, um, and to experience that is really, it, it is a mind-blowing thing. Even though it's only going to last for two minutes, It'll be the fastest two minutes of your life. Once you've tasted it, yeah. it's like a drug. Today's the day. I can show you the video. I can even describe the moment. The way the air cools and the light dims and the sounds all around grow faint. What I wish I could do, though, is make you feel what we all felt during those few unforgettable moments.
priority. Yep. And then you, you bro. one fifth of a second, one six Some more. Mm -hmm. So it takes three pictures. And then it's telling me to do. It's gonna start getting cold. Yes, Look at the 360 sun, sun, sunset. Look, look at it. Look, look around the, the star horizon. The... Wow. Look at the horizon. Amazing. This is great, guys. This is a cool experience. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> I just want to drink. Cheers. <laughs> You can already tell it's moving away. I wish it lasted forever. Oh, oh yeah, get ready, put on your stuff on. Oh yeah. Oh, it's coming out. Said it would be fast. That was fast. Ronnie was right. The totality was the fastest two minutes of my life. Wow. And the second it was over, I wanted to jump right back in line and ride that emotional roller coaster all over again. Man, I want to do it again. You guys want to do it again? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Like, I was just saying. Okay, go back, son. The sun set that evening, and it rose again the next morning, back to business as usual. I have no doubt the eclipse will linger in my memory, but honestly, it was all of the unexpected encounters and conversations and reflections along the way that made this journey so unforgettable. Now I can hardly wait for the next adventure. I guess it took the sun going completely dark for me to open my eyes again. We traveled 1,500 miles for two minutes and seven seconds, and to think I almost didn't go. Eighteen months. 
eclipse or two years or something like that. The next eclipse is in uh, Argentina, Argentina. Uh, Chile.